Welcome back to Time with God series. Joyce Myers, Everyday Life Bible Journey for Busy Moms. Today we are in Exodus chapter 2 and my name is Wendy Michelle Thompson. Let's get started. Chapter 2. Now Amram, a man of the house of Levi, the priestly tribe, went and took as his wife, Joshabed, a daughter of Levi. And the woman became pregnant and bore a son. And when she saw that he was exceedingly beautiful, she hid him three months. And when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark or basket made of bulrushes or papyrus, making it watertight daubing it with bitumen and pitch. Then she put the child in it and laid it among the rushes by the brink of the river Nile. And his sister, Miriam, stood some distance away to learn what would be done to him. Verse 5. Now the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river, and her maidens walked along the bank. She saw the ark among the rushes and sent her maid to fetch it. When she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby cried. And she took pity on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse of the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the girl went and called the child's mother. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed it. Verse 10. And the child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called him Moses, for she said, Because I drew him out of the water. One day after Moses was grown, it happened that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens, and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of Moses' brethren. Verse 12, he looked this way and that way, and when he saw no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. He went out the second day and saw two Hebrew men quarreling and fighting. And he said to the unjust aggressor, Why are you striking your comrade? And the man said, Who made you a prince and a judge over us? Do you intend to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses was afraid and thought, Surely this thing is known. Verse 15. When Pharaoh heard of it, he sought to slay Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh's presence and took refuge in the land of Midian, where he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. The shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to Ruel, Jephro, their father, he said, How is it that you have come so soon today? They said, An Egyptian delivered us from the shepherds. Also, he drew water for us and watered the flock. Verse 20, He said to his daughters, Where is he? Why have you left the man? Call him that he may eat bread. And Moses was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter. And she bore a son and called his name Gershom, expulsion or a stranger there. For he said, I have been a stranger and a sojourner in a foreign land. However, after a long time, nearly 40 years, the king of Egypt died, and the Israelites were sighing and groaning because of the bondage. They kept crying, and their cry 
because of slavery ascended to God. And God heard their sighing and groaning and earnestly remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Verse 25. God saw the Israelites and took knowledge of them and concerning himself about them, knowing all, understanding, and remembering all. That concludes Exodus chapter 2. If you haven't already, please subscribe, click the bell for notifications so that you know each time I upload. Not only is the Time with God series going up, but also other series with fitness and exercise and women's chat and a couple other things. And I'd hate for anybody to miss out on it. If you know someone that would enjoy any of these playlists, please share it with them. Thank you guys so much for being with me with this reading and Happy New Year. I pray that 2021 is a huge blessing for all of you. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.